Hey guys, my name is Alex, and I am the person who has developed the standalone seed searcher tool for Minecraft. Uh, today, actually, I just updated it to version uh, 1.15.2, so it's updated to the most recent version of Minecraft. I'm making this video to show everyone, first thing, how to download the tool and how to use it. I've had a lot of people asking me how to download it, why it's not operating, why it's not working, things like that. So I'm going to quickly run through how to kind of download it, use the tool, and why it's useful. So the first thing you want to do is you basically want to go to my GitHub tool page. Uh, the link will be in the description. And then the first thing you want to do is ignore pretty much all of the files. If you are programming savvy and you'd like to kind of understand how it's working back end, I am using the development branch um, to update everything. So the code is all here if you want to see how it's operating. It's completely open source, so feel free to fork it and use it however you'd like. Um, so the first thing you want to do is basically go to the releases tab right here. So once you come to the releases, you'll see all of my previous releases. This is the most up-to-date one for 1.15.2. And now this is where a lot of people kind of get confused. So in GitHub, there's this asset button down here. Open that up, and now these are what you're going to want to download. If you're on Windows, you can download the EXE, um, or I believe Mac and potentially Linux. You can do JAR. I haven't tested on either of those. I'm specifically a Windows user. Um, but the options are there, and then also the source code. So for this purpose, I'm going to download the EXE. And I'm going to show you guys how to use it. So once you use it, open it up. Cool. And then run it. Okay. So let me bring this over here. So this is the tool. Once you get into it, basically just downloading and running it, it should just run. If for some reason it doesn't, um, try the jar version. Now with the jar version, it's again the same thing. Basically just download it and run it. Um, when it comes to the jar version though, you need to understand that you must have Java installed. Um, the version that I am using is, I believe, Java, I think, 12, um, but anything post Java 8 should work. Um, yeah, so let's get back into the tool. So once you're here now, uh, you can change your Minecraft path directory. This is default. Um, so normally in the app data um, Minecraft directory, it'll be looking there. So for some reason, if you install Minecraft to a different directory, then you should put the path in here. Otherwise, this should just work. You don't need to actually touch this. Um, there's a donate button if you'd like to donate um, and then you've got your search parameters which is uh, the X and Z parameters um, so basically width and height um, of the 2D version of basically the map like a top-down view um, so for purposes I'm going to just change this to 100 for simplicity and also for uh, speed uh, and then you come over to the biomes tab and now in here you can basically pick what you want so for example you want to have a desert included uh, if you want to have a planes included, or if you want to have a biome set. So what a biome set is, is essentially every type of that specific biome. So for example, the desert set would include desert, desert hills, and desert M. So if you don't care which one you get, you just want one of them, then you can do that. So I'll do that also here. I'll do a desert set include. So we're going to look for basically planes and desert inside of a 100 by 100 area. Okay. So and then we basically hit start and let it run. It has a bit of a warm-up time because it needs to basically build your biome selection list and then search it. And once it does that, you'll notice seeds start getting thrown out. Um, you can also update the seeds to find. Right now I have it at 10. So once it finds 10 seeds, it will stop. Um, it shouldn't take too long, so we can probably just wait through this. Yeah, there you go. So you'll see one, two. So there's seven seeds already found, nine, and then 10. And it's going to stop. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up another tool called Amidst. I'm going to go new from seed. And this is kind of how you can check seeds. Uh, and then basically just copy this over and paste it in and let's check that it worked so it's going to take a little bit of boot up time here to kind of render the world here we go so if you look at this this is our spawn point. Uh, so I know it might seem counterintuitive that it would be searching from 0, 0, but it doesn't actually. It searches from your spawn point, which is the little house. And you'll notice if we go spawn is 245, and desert here is within the 100 radius. Um, barely, but it is. So we've got plains, and then desert hills, or desert. Uh, because we were doing the biome set, you'll see it there. So this is how you kind of search for anything specific. And you can get a lot more intense with this. Um, I've done complete searches that include all biome sets, so basically every single seed 
Um, so every single biome within, let's say, a 2,000 block radius. Um, anything smaller than that, you can find. I've seen seeds that have basically every biome within about 1,000 blocks, but that's really hard to find. Um, but anything lower, like if you're trying to do, like, let's say, 100 by 100 for every biome, you're never going to find it, so you'll just be wasting time. Um, so that's how you can do that there. And then I'm going to clear this now, and I'm going to actually enable find structures. So this time around, I'm going to remove the desert set, and we're going to just search for planes. But we're also going to search for a village. So within 100 blocks, I want to have one village and uh, a plains biome. So basically, a village and a plains, ideally. Um, but it doesn't. Uh, the way it searches, it basically does biomes first, then structures. So by setting it up like this, uh, hopefully you'll find a um, village inside the plains. But it could spawn as long as it's within the 100 block radius. Doesn't matter what biome it's in, it'll uh, come back as true. Okay. Uh, so we can hit start here. And again, it's going to take a little bit of warm-up time to kind of operate. And you'll see here it's now rejecting seeds. And the structure searching does take a bit of time. Oh, wow, we got lucky. That was fairly quick for a 100 block radius. Let's open back up amidst here and do new from seed. Okay, and again, this takes a bit of warm-up time. It's okay. And here we go. So within a hundred block radius of spawn, yeah, perfect. So you see we have plains and also a village. Um, so this is pretty much how to use the tool. Um, I do have plans in the future to still upgrade a lot, um, so keep an eye out for that. But for now this does work for uh, 1.15.2, so if you want a very specific seed or something you want to look for, um, be my guest. If you have any questions about why it's not working or uh, anything post in the comments and i'll be happy to reply uh yeah so that's about everything see you guys